Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today in this video, I'm going to talk about why pets are even rare. Pets are super expensive right now in terms of black lungs. Just a common simple seal can be worth 50 black lungs or more. It's kind of crazy. And even the best seals can be worth close to 500 black lungs. So the question is, how did pets get so rare? Well, years and years ago, pets were barely worth anything, if I'm being honest. I remember I got my first seal for a red long collar, and I'm pretty sure that was an overtrade. Pets weren't really something that people traded for because of their rarity. There were very few pet collectors in the community. It mostly started with seals, but people would just collect seals just to collect them, just because they thought they were cute. If we look at Pug Fluff's collection, if it ever loads, a really big majority of her seal collection is from when seals weren't even really rare. They were just collected. She just really loved seals. She thought they were cute, probably, because they are. And that probably led to her collection. And it's probably why she has so many cute ones. But as more and more people started collecting these seals, people started to take notice that, you know, hmm, people are collecting these pets. Maybe I should too. And so as more and more people were trading for pet seals at the same time, people started asking for more. I remember when I first got Honey Lemon. You all know Honey Lemon. We love Honey Lemon. Peace love Honey Lemon. I traded around four and a half black longs worth for Honey Lemon. And that at the time was a huge, 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 huge overtrade. A huge overtrade. But I had to trade that much because seals were in such high demand. In order for that person to trade me, I had to offer so much. And that is the beginning of why seals are so rare right now. So as time went on, more and more people started trading for seals, collecting seals. Seal collecting pretty much had its own community. Now, if you collect pets, you do know the pet community is its own sub-community in the large community of Animal Jam. Pet collectors know each other. People know what pets people have. It's kind of weird. I've been in the pet community for s some time now quite some time actually now that I think about it and I have seen the different stages of the worth of seals now if you see this green seal over here green pup before people were faking getting hacked to get seal codes <clears throat> swirly eyed seals were pretty cool they were pretty awesome you didn't really see them much but they were extremely rare. And not just rare in rarity. I mean rare as in you barely saw them. I remember when... Okay. <laughs> I remember... <laughs> I remember when this guy was made and... Probably more than half of the pet community was fighting for this guy. Everybody wanted to trade for the seal. I think the trading and bidding went on for probably a week. It was really intense. So what I ended up trading for Green Pup here was around 66 Black Longs. Now I know what you're thinking. That's... Bump it. Like, that's not really a lot. <laughs> That's not really a lot for a pet seal. At the time, that was a huge overtrade. Like a huge overtrade. I just remember so many people saying to me, why would you do that? Oh my gosh, that's so much. Why are you trading so much for this seal? And I'm like, I, I'm sorry, I just really, really want this seal. 
And so I got this seal for a huge overtrade at the time, which definitely is not an overtrade anymore, considering he's probably worth around 500 black longs or so. So maybe you guys have learned this in school, but supply and demand. If the supply of an item, meaning the quantity of the item, goes up, the demand goes down because there are more seals in game, so it's easier to get, which means the demand isn't as high. Now, this is why seals are so high. They are so unique and, you know, individual. There's so many different variations of seals that can range from 50 black longs to 500 black longs worth. It's crazy, but it is what it, it is what it is. So with seals, the supply is low. The supply is low because there are only certain amount of seals that have certain features or look a certain way or are perfect in some people's eyes. So while the supply is down, the demand is through the roof. Everybody wants a everybody wants a cute seal. So, here's an example. There's this really cute seal for trade. Let's say Green Pup. He let's say he's for trade. Now, this is Green Pup. Sure there are a lot of green swirly seals, but Green Pup has a, he's pretty unique. He's pretty unique, you know. Other people who are going to want to trade for Green Pup are going to most likely try to outbid the other people trading for Green Pup because they want to be the highest bidder because they want to trade for Green Pup. This also is a huge factor in why seals are worth so much. I'm going to just say this. The pet community is crazy. And with peace and love, with peace and love, I mean, I'm a part of the pet community too. So, not insulting anybody, but the pet community is crazy when it comes to their pets. We love our pets. We will trade for any pet, um, no matter what it's worth, we will trade anything for it. We are pet obsessed, period. We are crazy, there. So, back to Green Pup. People are over-trading for Green Pup, you know? They're trying to outbid, outbid each other's offers for Green Pup. And as, as the offers get higher, that kind of sets the standard a little higher for what is expected to be traded for a seal like Green Pup. So, for example, let's say somebody offers me 600 black longs for Green Pup. I'm not saying that's what he's worth. I'm saying let's, hypothetically speaking, say someone offered 600 black longs for Green Pup. Okay. Like I said, the pet community, we all know everything. <laughs> and once that happens, other people will say, well, seals are getting offered more than they were before. Seals are going up. People are going to then expect more for their seals, and people are then going to trade more for their seals. And while the minimum value of seals keep going up, it's going to keep going up as people keep trying to outbid the minimum value to get that seal. If that even makes sense, I'm trying to explain it the best I can. But long story short, seals are so rare because, because of pet collectors. Because pet collectors, when they want a seal, they really want a seal, and they will overtrade for it. And... You know, overtrading for it will cause worths to go up. And that's honestly just how it is with any item. But I think it's most predominantly seen with seals and other pets as well. If you're looking to trade for a pet seal and it's just so expensive, you know, I get it. Just keep working for it. You will eventually get that seal you want. I promise. Coming from someone who has been trading for seals for actually literally years um 
you will get there. Um, if you really love seals, you will get a seal. I promise you that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it cleared a little bit of things up as of why these little virtual creatures are worth a lot of black longs. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know also if you're a pet collector, whether it's seals, hogs, otters, squirrels, mice, anything at all. Um, and if you are in the pet community, you know exactly what I've been talking about with the pet community. Peace, love, pet community. We love the pet community. I love, I love the pet community. Also, if you are a part of the pet community, I highly recommend checking out my official pet training server. A lot of people ask for worth help on any pet that they have, whether it's a large ultra rare pet or a small promo pet. We have worth helpers for all. Um, also, we have channels for you to advertise your art or even advertise your commissions. A lot of trading goes on as well, a lot. Um, trading channel is always popping with people trying to trade their pets or looking for pets to trade for. You can trade regular items in here as well, nothing wrong with that, but I definitely recommend checking it out. We have places for you to share your pets. We have places to help find lost pets that may have been scammed or hacked or even a seal or any kind of pet that you used to have and you just really want back, you really want to find it, this is the place to go. We also do have pretty awesome giveaways and not to mention there's just a lot of other things that you can do and share in here, whether that be dens or anything else. You can advertise your shop in here. We also do have contests once in a while. Just recently we had um, a den decorating contest where you can um, also win special one-of-a-kind rolls and items as well. So I definitely recommend um, giving this server a try. I will link the invite in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching.